Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we will present about public library and their organization. This presentation was prepared by Fadatul Idina binti Fadil, Nabila Najwa binti Maizul Rizal, Nur Azila binti Muhammad Isa, and Nur Sharjina Aimi binti Abu Bakar. Without further ado, we will start now. Next. Next. Okay, for introduction, library is a place and a building that houses a lot of material such as books, maps, CD-ROM, ebook, and everything that suits with their using it. Library have long played an important role in allowing individuals to access a wide range of information and knowledge resources. There are five types of library, which is uh, national library, public library, academic library, school library, and special library. In this presentation, we will focus on the public library. We will discuss about three different um, public library, which are the New York Public Library, Cumberland Public Library, and State Library Victoria. Okay, next. We will start with the New York Public Library. Okay, I give to Nabila Najwa. Firstly, uh, overview, history, and background information. A German immigrant, Jacob Esther, created the Esther Library through his generosity, and he was the wealthiest man in America when he died. James Lennox built the Lennox Library. The libraries facing financial issues and had to combine. The plan was agreed and signed in May 23, 1895. In 1902, the cornerstone was placed the enormous library, which eventually cost $9 million to construct, was the developed slowly and steadily. In, sum, in summer 1905, the roof has begun the construction and by the end of 1906, the roof was completed. For the official opening of the library in May 23, 1911, there were more than 1 million books were placed. New York's public library formally opened the next day. The response was amazing when the first day the building was opened. It received between 30,000 to 50,000 visitors. There are a total of 51 million items, research and circulating collections combined, thousands of exhi exhibitions and public activities, including seminars in technology, literacy, research English for speakers of other language are held at the library each year. The library's website also attracts over 32 million annual visits for over 200 countries. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Okay, the second one is collection and material in New York Public Library. Okay, the first one is books. Um, there are many types of books for all ages from children until adults. Uh, there are also new arrivals book that can be accessed by users for free. The book can be borrowed for different length of time. For example, for new books, um, it can be borrowed for only one week. Um, and then next is ebooks. There are more than 300,000 e-books that can be accessed freely. Um, there are e-reader apps that call Simply e. User can use Simply apps to help in borrowing and lending process for e-book. Um, next is movies and DVDs. Um, they are available in many genres. Um, there are also a variety of other languages movie. It also can be borrowed for only one week. Um, next is digital collections. There are more than 900,000 items that have been digitized. The user will be notified with the recently digitized and updated collections in their main website. Next is research article and databases. Um, for young learners, they can access Bookflix, Tumble Books, Library. And for researchers, researchers, they can access various online research databases such as EBSCOhost and Emerald. Uh, lastly is newspaper and magazine. There are more than 7,000 newspaper and magazines. User can explore the press reader and flipster. This collection only can be accessed um, by using New York Public Library card only. Next. Okay, um, next is retrieval tools used in the library. There are three types of re retrieval tools, which is the first one is catalog. Um, at, at, at the beginning, they are using card catalog. Card catalog contain bibliographic information such as author, title, series. 
Um, however, the usage ended in 1971. Then it proceeded into online catalog. It had been used widely as it allows more access point and much more flexibility to be used. In New York Public Library, research catalog acts as an online catalog. It also can be known as OPEC. Um, it used to search and locate their materials. Um, next is bibliography. Bibliography is a list of work of the author and publisher. In this library, it provides a long list of items bibliographic. And lastly is indexes. Um, indexes is a systematically arranged list that shows the content inside the materials. Indexes can be seen in New York Public Library databases. Um, it will help user to find a suitable keyword um, and key point for, their, for the thing that they search. Uh, I'll pass to um, another presenter. Next is the physical arrangement of library materials. Um, first, uh, at Rose's main reading room, uh, the books were shelf and arranged in wooden shelf. And the books are the newest books and the oldest pieces, the most requested pieces. At Storage Center Beneath Bryant Park, there are 4 million catalog items. The books are stacked on electronic mobile shelving system. The books also store in vertical by size. They are barcode and marked. The books uh, will be kept as compact as possible at the shelf. Next is Irma and Paul Nielsen Division. There are US history, local history, and genealogy research. There is also cities vital records, birth, death, marriage records, and city direction. The shelves were created by the SNET company using cast iron and steel to create self-sustaining structure. Uh, it is designed to be able to put more into less space. space. The horizontal shelves at the wall were stacked with records that using files into cardboard box storage. Manuscript and archive division. Important or valuable manuscripts are stored in locked cardboard around the room. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Next is staffing in library. Top manager and library staff are very important in a public library. In other words, cooperation between top management and lower management is very, very important for ensuring maximum library service. The New York Public Library has 3,115 employers. Anthony W. Dogma is the president of the New York Public Library. Even R. Chesler is chair of the board is responsible for determining the purpose of the library and ensure that it achieves what it is meant to achieve. Tony Agi is chief digital officer is responsible for the organization and management of the library. Next is Charles Custer is assistant curator is responsible for processing and organizing um, for the collection material and share reference and authors duty with the curator. Jason Bauman is director for collection development is responsible for building a relevant high interest collection across format, platform and level. This position needs selection of appropriate, appropriate material and online resource to serve the need of the library user. Michelle Coleman Mayers is Vice President, General Counsel, and Secretary is responsible for guide New York Public Library legal strategy to enable the library to achieve its mission. Next. Limitation. Library website is a one-stop information portal for visitors who want to access digital resources in public library. They just need to use their internet-connected smartphone to search for information anytime and anywhere. On the other hand, the library website becomes a lifeline for completion assignment and project for university students. Even so, there are some problems and limitations with the New York Public Library website, which is many menu and is made difficult for users to find what they want to search for. And many box elements, and it can make users cannot focus on finding key information element. 
for improvement, the library need to improve the library website by focus on four to six domain menu only. Next is some link that cannot be clicked and does not work for improvement. Then the clickable text should be removed because it's not only does not work but also slow down the display time. Next is New York Public Library website take a long time to display because of their large content. Besides in the library, there is a lack of seating for user. For improvement, library need to increase the number of table, chair and space for user to read and make user comfortable. Next is I will post to next presenter. Uh, next, uh, the impact of information center collection. First, the researchers can find their materials by manual or electronic materials. Second, Electronic materials can be used to assess content and information about the library or their collection. Third, the local citizen or visitors can look up information about the city's history. The last one is visitors who major in arts also can come to the library since there is performing arts and research center. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. In conclusion, the New York Public Library has different kinds of materials for users or visitors to use and search for. There are different kinds of materials that are suitable for toddlers, adults, and students. Students can use, uh, look for materials in the library in order to do the assignment. This library, this library does have their own limitations, which the library trying their best to improve it. Users can also visit their website for more information about materials that are available and also more information about the library. Next library is the Cumberland Public Library. Overview, history and background information. The library is built in a former monastery construction by Trappist monks of the Cistercian of the strict observance in 1900, which was abandoned but after the fire damage, most of the buildings in 1950. The first structure was built in 1902 until the church was dedicated in 1928 and served as the full monastery for both monks and visitors. The cloister was built in 1931 on the main floor of the West Wing. The monastic infirmary took up the full third floor of the West Wing. Devastating fire destroyed the guest house and most of the building on March 21, 1950. All 140 monks inside managed to escape. Some of them climbed ladders and others by jumping 20 feet from the windows. Following the fire, volunteers prepared soup for the standard monk. Damage estimated was to be $2 million in 1950 century. The monastic group chose to rebuild after the fire on a larger plot of land they owned near Spencer, Massachusetts. This was supposed to be the second settlement. They are still standing today. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Okay, um, for the collection and materials in this library, uh, there are books. Um, books can be read for free. Um, it also updated every month. Um, the books available in many genre and languages. It also can be borrowed by users for a maximum of three weeks. Next is ebook and audiobooks. Um, these two materials can be found in eZone application. Many types of ebook um, are there, such as they can find in Kindle book, Overdrive Read, EPUB, ebook. Users also can download it, the audiobook. Um, they can listen to the books anywhere and anytime. Next is e newsletter. This platform is more focused on adult users. There are more than 20 databases such as A to Z databases, Academic Search Elite, Access Newswire. Um, and lastly is videos. Um, the tagline for this um, website um, is Who Needs Netflix? It shows the long list of movies and video which are available in many language and genre. Next. Okay, um, next is retrieval tools used in the library. There are two types of retrieval tools that use. Um, the first one is online catalog. This library has their own online catalog. There are many library materials that can be searched there. For example, books um, for all ages, foreign resources, novels, movies, music, and etc. Um, the second one is indexes. 
There are about 8,000 publications that contain indexing. All these indexes can be found in their databases. Furthermore, indexes helps to point out the keyword that user want to search. Okay, next, I pass to another person. Next is the physical arrangement of the library materials in Cumberland Library. First, the printed books. The books are arranged uh, at wooden bookshelf, but they did not use a book support to keep it upright, so the books look messy. Then they were arranged by genre and age. There is special book rack for paper book, paper bag book. Second, the magazine is arranged at magazine rack. It is displayed at the corner of room. Third, electronic materials. The desk and chairs for computers are arranged by facing the wall. So there is more, there is more space for study table. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Cooperation between top management and lower management is very important for ensure maximum library service. The top manager and lower manager at Cumberland Public Library are Aaron Carter, is assistant director, is responsible to direct the library in the absence of the director and assistant in planning, implementing and evaluating library service, coordinating selection of library material. Next, Celesta Dyer is director is responsible to develop and implement plan and objective for the department effectively and innovatively. Staff or reference department is responsible to provide library user with information, research and instructional service on various kinds of information from variety of search. Next, staff on stand department is responsible for assist children and parents in finding reading material and information what they want to search and guide them in using library service and facility. The last is staff on circulation department is responsible to oversee the checking out and intake of the library material, renewal, book reserve, user assistance, registration of library member and searching item. Next. Limitation. Library websites are important for visitors who want to earn access to library information resources with the library website. Users can get the information they want easily. There are some problems and weakness with the Cumberland Public Library website, which is if the user has a slower internet connection, the page may take too long to load. For improvement, the library website administration needs consistent up the website to avoid user waiting long for page view. Next is there are no clear link and many library material make it difficult for user to decide where to go first. For improvement, library website administration need to add a keyword or advanced text to the homepage. Next is unorganized library material and lack of A to Z database, which is database on the Cumberland Public Library website that can only be accessed by residents throughout the United States. The last is most of the service offered by Cumberland Library have to be paid for if user want to use them. I will pass to the next presenter. Yeah. Next is the impact of information center collection. First, not many people can access the, material, the electronic materials since it needs to be paid, such as uh, they, uh, it is stated at the limitation before. Second, not a f the library is not a first choice library for a citizen as it lacks, it lacks of variety topics to read. The suggestion to improve is uh, first change the electronic collection to open access so people can easily access it. Second, the variety the materials available in the library to attract more people to come. Third is the library need to add more white topic collection. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. 
In conclusion, the Cumberland Public Library is a great library for users to visit as they update their books every month. However, the internet connection needs to, to have an improvement in order for users to search for their materials in the website. Nevertheless, Cumberland Public Libraries needs to be known by the public based on their history and great materials for students and visitors. Next is State Library of Victoria. Background, history, and uh, overview. State Library Victoria, which originated as the Melbourne Public Library in 1854, is Australia's oldest public library and the one of the world's first free public libraries. The State Library of Victoria was founded in 1854, just 20 years after Melbourne was founded and is one of the Melbourne's foundation institutions. It is not only Australia's oldest and busiest public library. The lawn, which was mostly covered by bushes and trees when the library first opened in 1856, was bordered by a picket fence. Visitors entered the ground by a gate on Swenston Street before mounting the stairs to the library's main entrance, which is still a wooden front door. Each year, they will add more than 70,000 heritage items to the library's collection. As a result, library usage has continued to rise with about 2 million physical visits per year and over 4.3 million internet visits per year. Their vision is to make the library to be a place for everyone and to inspire possibilities. The library wants to be a cultural and heritage destination for Victorians as well as a source for new information and ideas. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Okay, for collection and materials in this library, they are actually, there are more. Okay, the first one is books. The collections of books in this library are more focused on a certain subject, which is art, literature, architecture, and history. There are also uh, rare book collections. However, this um, rec book collections need an appointment with one of their unique department in the Heritage Collection Reading Room. Next is ebook and audiovisual materials. It can be searched on your ebook shelves. Um, there are more than 200,000 ebooks. There are also many options that they can use. Um, okay. And the third one is digitized collection. There are more than 770,000 digitized materials. Uh, for example, there are maps, photograph, pamphlet, and many more. Um, it also can use library catalog. It can be browsed through the digital image pools. Um, the fourth one uh, is online galleries. The online galleries display users with various artwork. It shows the artwork from previous exhibitions. Um, as um, you all know, um, this library um, are famous with their exhibitions. Um, all the display material from the exhibition can be seen online through this collection on their website. Um, and the fifth one is open data set. There is a lot of data such as photographs. This data can be used by user for free. Users are allowed to modify and use the data. Not every collection that have been digitized can be used in open data um, due to the copyright. Uh, and lastly, is online resources and databases. State Library Victoria um, only, only State Library Victoria members that um, can access the online resource and databases. And most popular databases that um, their user use is JSTOR and ProQuest. Next. Okay, they using three types of retrieval tools, uh, which is the first one is online catalog. There are many materials that can be browsed via the online catalog. User can search, filter um, their result, and then it's easy to search and locate for the materials there. Um, the second one is Australiana Index. Um, this is, has been compiled by the librarian that worked in that library. Um, this index has been developed and updated frequently. Users only need to search for the keyword they want and select the type of search that they They will have an access number to a number of articles. 
the lastly um lastly is victor government gazette gazette um, from 1836 to 1997 can be accessed there, all the government gazette. Um, the gazette also can be printed in PDF format. Um, I pass to the next person. Next, the, next is the physical element of library materials. First, the books is most with books supports to second books is organized horizontally on shelf as they are too heavy second is microfilm and microfish uh, it is stored in the cabinet there are also microfilm reader organized same room lastly the pictures all pictures or photograph will be framed first and then they were displayed as as exhibit or gallery. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Staffing in library. All the staff from top manager and the manager are important to state library better than them. This library cannot be well managed. The Library Board of Veteran consists of 11, 11 board members. The Adversary Committee on Public Library Act as an adversary group to the board. Beside the Audit and Risk Management Committee assists the board in establishing and maintaining effect financial by providing oversight and insurance. Cat next, Katie Turney is the chief librarian and CEO at State Library Victoria, responsible to lead the organization in implementing the appropriate strategy, service, and program that have been agreed up upon by the Victoria Library Hall. In addition, she is responsible for managing the operation of the state collection and library. Next is Shelley Jamison, is head of collection care, is responsible for maintain and preserve collection material that are housed within the general collection of state, state library Victoria. Jory Telly is director, collection is responsible for collection development and management, including selection, excavation, storage, access, and discovery. Next, responsible for collection description cataloging. The last is Sarah Slate, is Director Project Management Office, is responsible for coordinating major projects including Vision 2000 and Boss 2, 3D, 3D, Continuous Mind Building. Next. <coughs> Limitation. We can see that user and student are now choose to browse only the library website virtually rather than coming on library their own physically looking for information. This is because they just need to use their internet connected smartphone to search for information anytime and anywhere. There are some shortcomings in the Victoria State Library website, which is many graphics that cause the website to get so busy and make users are not sure where to click or what they want to see. At first, for improvement, library website administration need to reduce graphic and consistent update the website to make it easy for for user. That the secondly is the use a second the use of many board elements and it make user cannot focus on finding key information element. For improvement, library need to improve the library website by, by focus on four to see the main menu only. The last is the lack of place for user to see. For improvement, library need to increase the number of table and chair for space for user. Next, I will pass to the next presenter. Presentation. First, the user can choose to search the as manual or electronic. Second is the the difficulty information in short time. So the suggestion to a user friend 
create the user friendly website but with minimum of graphic users to effective in searching information online. Next, I will pass to you. In conclusion, State Library Victoria is one of the greatest library to visit. Books are vertically arranged to make it easier for users to access. The library hosts all kinds of talks, workshops, films, guided tours, and more for audience across all age groups, including families. It helps users to get to know the amazing collection and tell the story of Victoria history. Most importantly, the events are free for visitors. There's a lot of things that need to be improved to their website, but surely users don't have to worry much uh, as State Library Victoria has everything they need. In conclusion, each of these uh, public library has their own uniqueness and their own way to handling the library. New York, New York Public Library uniqueness is that they have various of materials that users can uh, look for. Cumberland Library target focus uh, more on their citizens and people who live near the library. And Victoria Library's uniqueness is they have data sets which doesn't exist in other libraries that have been mentioned by Fidata Idina. So to conclude, each of the library provides so many things for the users to access. Therefore, I do think these libraries are worth your time to visit. That's all from us. Thank you.